Back in early 2018, one major media report after another revealed that Donald Trump ordered White House counsel Don McGahn to commit felony obstruction of justice and McGahn heroically refused to do it. By the end of 2018 we learned that McGahn had been selling Trump out to Robert Mueller all along. In hindsight, McGahn was rather clearly feeding these stories to the media in order to try to absolve himself. Now suddenly we're seeing it again today, but with a bunch more names. Today's stunning New York Times expose about Donald Trump's obstruction of justice antics spans two years and covers several stages of Trump's revolving door of senior advisors. The one thing that stands out is that, according to the story, every one of these advisors either heroically refused to carry out Trump's obstruction orders or at least earnestly tried to talk Trump out of it. How convenient for them, we suppose. It's not too difficult to parse that Matt Whitaker, Sean Spicer, and familiar face Don McGon, who are all depicted in the knit story as heroically standing up to Donald Trump's crime spree, were direct or indirect sources for the story. Someone is going down for Trump's obstruction, and they're trying to use the media to ensure that it's Trump and not them who goes down. What's interesting is the timing. Why would these three guys all decide that right now is a good time to make sure the world knows that they weren't cool with Trump's obstruction of justice? Makes you wonder if they all know that Robert Mueller is about to drop the hammer on obstruction of justice and they're trying to get out in front of it. After all, Mueller just interviewed Trump's last remaining obstruction loyalist, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, which would suggest that Mueller's obstruction probe is ready to go 